The first group of firefighters from the Guam Fire Department who are students in the paramedic program underwent their hands-on clinicals in Tyler, Texas, at some of the county fire stations and local hospitals. GFD Fire Chief Dan Stone. As you know, we started this program during COVID, uh, so there are obviously a lot of challenges that uh, you know accompanied um, uh, this effort. Uh, but uh, we were able to bridge all those challenges, uh, and I absolutely want to thank each and every one of our students in this program uh, for their uh, for their efforts, their patience, uh, their fortitude, and, and ensuring that we were going to be successful. Lieutenant Doug Sherwin, who has been with GFD for 31 years, says becoming a paramedic has been a primary career goal of his. This is what I've always wanted to do, uh, get my paramedic certification slash license here, and now we're on the cusp of doing that. Uh, Pretty excited about it. For Firefighter 1 Wayne Matanani, his motivation in joining the program was to be able to provide that higher level of care to the people of Guam. Being a firefighter, especially here in Guam, it's always challenging and we always want to challenge ourselves to push ourselves to be better every day. So I wanted to do that. I'm a father of two beautiful daughters, so I wanted to show them, you know, that I continue to push myself at work so that they can kind of motivate them to. For two weeks, the group was attached to a private firm that was running ambulance services. Firefighter 2, Ken Sionko. While they were running services, they were always having one paramedic on there and another EMT who was geared to become a paramedic too. So their kind of EMS system uh, runs a little bit differently than here, although we do get the same patient, you know, same kind of uh, emergency runs. Um, so. You know, we're exposed and we felt comfortable, I'm pretty sure, you know, how we were interacting with the, uh, the general public there. And uh, they were nice. And, you know, we had a great time. Siongo says they had an opportunity to be with an outer county fire department there that runs a medic unit. We're firemen. We, we know uh, our house, our fire station is our house and they are our family. And that's exactly what they did is they brought us in and treated us like family. And with the hands-on practicals complete, what does this mean for GFD? With the uh, skills and equipment that uh, our paramedics are going to have available to them, they are basically going to be able to bring the ER out into the community. So anybody who needs advanced care, they will be able to provide those services to them. The students are just steps away from becoming the first certified paramedics for GFD. For Metanani and Sionko, they feel there's a sense of not only pride, but responsibility. To uh, set the bar high and... Um, show them that we are capable, you know. So it was, for me, like it was really exciting, right? Especially, it's kind of groundbreaking breaking for the Guam Fire Department, right? So, um, yeah, it was really exciting for me. And that, like I said, I feel a sense of pride and I'm very happy and proud of all my classmates that are still here and the ones that uh, are not, you know, like uh, it'll give them an opportunity later on for to be the next group. Right. And um, again, like our goal is just to provide the best service possible for the community of Guam. We've been striving for this for a long time, uh, always trying to get to that um, recognition. You know, I want to want to say that a lot of people don't know about Guam. Even when we went to Tyler, they didn't really know about us. And you know, we exposed them to our culture, our, 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 the way we do our things here. And, you know, we, we educated them a little bit more. And um, we just want that, that level of certification that, hey, that we can bring, basically we can bring anywhere else. Chief Stone is grateful for all those who helped bring the program to fruition, especially the governor and lieutenant governor, for their unwavering support. I would also be remiss if I didn't acknowledge um, a lot of the support and efforts and patience uh, that was uh, grant, uh, granted to us by uh, Dr. Okada and her staff over at the Guam Community College. Uh, Dave De La Sola over at the Department of Labor. Um, we've got, uh, you know, Dr. Mendiola, Dr. Ross, uh, the Guam Memorial Hospital who supported us when our students were going through their, uh, through their practicals. It has been a long journey and they dedicate it to their support system, their families. And moving forward, all their hard work and efforts will be in honor of their fallen brother and sister. Firefighter um, Tenorio and Firefighter uh, Sibitang. So I want to kind of dedicate the rest of my efforts to them too. Yeah. for this program because they were they could have seen it through just like I did and you know they're no longer with us so you know I just wanted to say that we love them and you know and continue to strive on in their memory as well so, so. Yeah, they they were taken away too too um, too early um, 
but we're, we're going to definitely see this through for them as well. Reporting for KM News, I'm Jonah Gancharfras.